advertising is an investment in your business for your business growth all right so advertising is one of the highest investment that can give you double of your income whatever capital you put into advertising into your business it's going to give you double of your capital double of your um what do they call it times three not just double one beauty of advertisement is that it gives you double guaranteed double that guarantee triple guarantee quadrant guarantee if i gives you from 2x to up to within the range of 2x to up to let's call it a hundred x of your capital i love to call it the best return on investment ever and that's what a lot of business owners entrepreneurs startup and SMEs are missing and that's why if you notice if you pay attention to big brands big brands spend a lot on advertising more especially on brand marketing all right so meaning it can double triple and quadruple your business growth and your sales that's just the truth about advertising mm -hmm. and remember i taught us before as a business, while you're growing your business, you must learn how to build a brand that people will know, like, and trust. All right. So, having said that, there are two types of advertise advertising. Uh, let's use that word. There are two types of advertising, and we have what I call the organic reach. The organic reach is where you take advantage of discovery channels such as Facebook reels, Instagram reels, reels, YouTube shorts, TikTok. All right, these are discovery channels that give you access to post a video that can go viral and can be seen by people that you don't even know, by strangers. And that can also do what? Bring a lot of eyeballs on your business because that is actually what we need. We need eyeballs on our business. Okay, the second type of advertising is the paid reach. Now, when we talk about paid reach, this is where you pay Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, or TikTok to do what? To help you run a marketing campaign on your business or on your product so we have facebook ads instagram ads youtube ads google ads tiktok ads and the rest of them all right we also have what we call uh, yeah that's google ads okay so these are the two types of advertising we have organic reach and we have paid advertising organic reach is where you don't pay anybody but you have to put in the work we use what we call um content marketing for organic reach so and leveraging discovery channel Okay, so before we continue, I need you to know that online advertising is a battlefield. Business is war. Online advertising, for you to advertise your business online, it's a battlefield. Because the attention span of people is less than that of a goldfish. Less than 5 to 10 seconds. Alright, so before we start any social media advertising, you need to answer some critical questions for yourself in order for you to gain clarity and maximize everything that you're doing in your marketing campaign and these questions are very critical there are about 10 of them but because of time i'm just going to give us four now you need to ask yourself what do i want to make my online presence look like as a business person either you're building a business brand or you're building a personal brand you need to ask yourself what do you want what do I want my online presence to look like? What do I want people to see me for online? What is your brand personality? Are you building a personal brand or are you building a business brand? What's the personality of the brand of your brand? I always advise people to start with a personal brand because people do business with people they know, they like and they trust, then build a business brand. But all the same, if you want to focus on a business brand, that is also okay. But ask yourself, what is your brand personality? Because your brand is an entity and your brand takes after the owner. The brand, your business takes after your personality and who you are. All right. So the third question you need to ask yourself is, what is that perception that you want to create in the mind of people? Is it what trust? Is it trustworthy? Now, when we talk about perception, we say, um, we say um, perception is a cognitive realism. What is that image you want to portray for people to know you? Is it trustworthy? You need to ensure that people know you, like you, and trust you. So that image you want to portray to the public online, what is it? You need to pay attention to that. And the fourth question is, what is the thing you want people to know you for? What are the things you want people to know you for? They, and this de de um, it depends on the content you post. Because when you post content through your content marketing, it answers a lot of questions. 
for people on your page. So please, while you're building a business online, before you start running adverts, you must answer these four questions. And you must start putting out content, educating people about who you are, what you do, about your business, the solution you bring to the marketplace, how you can help people solve their problem, okay? Once you have gained clarity by answering these questions, then the next thing you need to do is to start creating content around everything that you just answered. Start creating content about the things you are passionate about. And most of the time, I avoid using that word passion because the truth is in business, a lot of things we do, we are not passionate about. People that follow their passion are broke. So I would rather say, follow where, follow, don't follow your passion, but follow the money. Wherever money goes, wherever attention goes, follow it. Even if it means doing things you are not passionate about, you will grow into liking it because without it, you can't you can make money. Someone like me. Oh God, um, I, 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 I hate making phone calls, but I just have to do that. And I just have to love it in the process because it's one of the things that bring in sales into my business. All right, we call it sales calls. All right, so you must be sure, you must be able to create content. Okay, create content. Okay, I just wanted to check that um, I was audible because someone was complaining that I wasn't audible. Okay, so make sure that you're creating content around the things that you are passionate about, around the things you want people to know you for, around the things you want people to trust you for, around the things you want people to like you for. Make sure you're creating content. And that is why I always say content marketing is king. And it's true content growth. It's through, it's through content marketing organically that you build a brand and it's a journey. It's a, it's a, it's a long-term thing. It's not something you do now and expect a return. No. All right? And that's why I always encourage people, practice the principles of business and the principles of life. Because when you practice the principles consistently, trust me, in return, you're going to do what? You're going to participate in the in the, in the harvest, you're going to um, participate in the prosperity of that thing. Okay, so you must do this for a period of minimum of seven days and beyond. It's a journey. You don't just start and stop. Okay, so through this, you build up your KLT. KLT is know you, like you, and trust you. People like to do business with people they know, they like, and they trust. So when you start your content marketing, people start knowing you. People start liking you. People start trusting you. And I always call it what content marketing. Okay, so this is where branding comes into play. I talked about branding before. Now, branding is very important for you as a business person online for you to grow. Okay, and that is why you must build your online personality. It's very important to build your online personality. And I want to, that reminds me because I made this mistake um, in my early days in business. I was... I was doing a lot of things. I There was a time in my life I was a professional network marketer. There was a time in my life I was consulting for a computer firm. Now, uh, the brand, the personality I was building online was all about the organization that I was working uh, I was working with. The organization that I was um, running um, a sales, um, I was running as a sales personnel. And that now made people to see, to see me as, hey, this organization, when they see eminent of us that they see this organization that's not what i want people never knew me they never knew who i was and when i learned when i learned when i when i came to discover that that was an error i had to start re reverse i had to start re i had to reverse engineer what i was doing and i had to start bringing my personality online hey Eminent, this is eminent of that i do this i do this i do boy i need you to trust me for who i am i'm someone that help people grow their businesses i'm someone that help people brands and business owners scale their marketing and their sales strategies online. I help people grow their business. I help people increase their sales. I help people, anything business growth. I help to that. That's who I am. So I have to start educating people through my content. And if you're watching this, you've seen my content, I know that anything business, anything making money, more money, business, in mental health is your go-to flow. Moving your business online. Because what I do, I blend my my digital expertise and artificial intelligence expertise with strategies um, with strategic brilliance to propel your business to a new height, meaning to help you grow your business to a new height. So that is what I do. 
all right so branding is very important some of you ask what is branding now branding is a storytelling journey of yourself your personality and your business let me repeat that branding is a is a storytelling of yourself remember you as an individual then your personality then your business all right so branding is the process of establishing emotional connection with your customers or your audience and it's about making people feel good about supporting your business personality for example let's take a look at someone like um, in nigeria all of you um those of you in nigeria you must know this popular man um obi kubana now obi kubana is his name okay obi kubana is his name but now he has built a lot of business branding. they know him as the kubana um he has a lot of restaurants